Hi, I'm Paul Wilson, creator of The Body Swing and the director of the Paul Wilson Golf School at Bears Best Las Vegas. Here's a great tip to help you with your golf swing. If you like this tip, make sure you give me a thumbs up, then click on the red button to subscribe to my channel, then click on the bell so you're notified when I post new tips, and please tell all your friends about my tips. You know, there's a lot of other people out there that need help too. In this tip, I'm talking about learning from little kids. That's right, little kids. <laughs> so what is a little kid going to teach us? Well, think back. Have you ever marveled at a little kid hitting a golf ball? I bet you have because tons of my students over the years either email me these little kids that are like five years old hitting these incredible shots looking like young tiger or, you know, they say, oh, I've got grandkids that hit the ball a mile that sort of thing. So if these kids are good players, well, why don't we just do what they're doing? You know, because a lot of adults don't look like little kids when they're swinging the golf club. So what is the difference? What does a little kid do when they get a golf club? So think about it. You've got a kid and you give them mom or dad's clubs. I'm not talking about these kids clubs that are super light, okay? I'm talking mom or dad's clubs. Kid is six years old, eight years old, maybe 10 years old. So think, what is going on with a little kid at that age? Well, they're not strong, okay? I know I've had one 12 year old that was hitting it over 250. You know, in, he was one of my students. So that's what I'm getting at, these little kids, okay? So they're not strong yet they can hit the ball a long way. So they gotta be doing it somehow. So it can't be based on strength. So now think, mom or dad's club, you give it to a little kid. Oh, and this is the big thing, you know, they've said for years that these kids are just copying mom or dad. So if they're copying mom or dad, why doesn't the kid have a chicken wing, you know, <laughs> hanging back on their back foot, just trying to hammer it as hard as they can. Yeah, they don't look like that at all. So, they're not copying mom or dad, <laughs> okay? So they, they're doing something. So like I said, kid is not strong. They have minimal arm strength. So you give a little kid a heavy club, how would they take it back? Okay, so the little kid's gonna wander up to it like this. They're gonna hold on. They're not gonna do the proper grip yet. You know, if they were real young, I've found that it's hard to put them, put their hands on perfectly. So I get them to just kind of hold on with their palms sort of together. Now imagine, kid goes to take back a heavy golf club. How would they do it? They would go like this. They'd kind of drag it along the ground like this, and they would move over to the back foot. So they're gonna go like that to take it back. Because remember, they have minimal arm strength. They can't go like this and take it back. Club's too heavy, okay? So they would drag it back like this. Arms would be totally relaxed. They wouldn't have their arms all locked up. Okay, they'd go like this. So they've already loaded the weight over onto the back foot in the early stage of the backswing. They get it up to the top and they break down the arm here. Okay, they're breaking down the arm because the club is super heavy and it's pulling their arms down that way. But if we look closer at this, the kid has learned how to fully hinge their wrists at the top of the backswing. So they have their wrists fully hinged here. A lot of adults, you know, they get to the backswing and they're not even hinged properly. So the little kid would have full hinge at the top. Okay, so they drag it back ugh, like that. Now the club's super heavy right here. Wrists are fully hinged. Now, kid has no arm strength. So how are they gonna hit the ball? Well, they can't pull it down because the club is that way. It's heavy. They don't have the strength to pull the club down. It's not that they don't want to, they want to. They can't. They don't have a choice. The club is too heavy. It's way down there. So as much as they want to pull it, they can't. So how is a kid going to hit a ball from right here? The only way you can do it, if your arms are, you know, or if you have no strength to pull the club down, you'd have to rotate your body. So as you rotate your body, what happens is, for the little kid from right here, they get perfect lag right here. Hips are open when they hit the ball. No chicken wing, 
nice extension through the ball like this, and then they go into their follow through. Okay, and if you don't believe me, <laughs> all you have to do is watch little kids hitting golf balls. So the perfect example, when you go to YouTube, type in Tiger Woods teenager. Okay, at 13 years old, Tiger Woods was hitting the golf ball 300 yards. And he looks like this at impact, right there. That's how much hips he was using at 13. Because if you have no arm strength, you're gonna have to have another power source. And that power source is you driving your legs and hips hard. Okay, also look to see on little kids if they have lag, if they have a chicken wing. I guarantee if they're using mom or dad's clubs, they don't have any of those things. So they've already got the moves. Now you fast forward 5, 10, 15 years later, they're hitting the ball 250 plus, you know, and they're probably, you know, like if they played a little bit, they're a single digit handicap. Now you get an adult looking at an object, somebody, let's say they started at like 45. What's a 45 year old going to do if they came out to play golf? Well, they're looking at an object, they have arm strength. So what are they going to do? They're going to look at that object and they're going to try and whack at it as hard as they can. So in that process, everything's locked up. There's no hinge right here. They go to hit the ball. So they get the chicken wing because the muscles are contracting. They literally hit the ball flat footed like this and don't even get through to the follow through. So right from the very first ball, an adult, if you learned as an adult, the very first ball you ever hit, you would have hit that golf ball with your arms. Why would you come out, gonna play golf and go, you know what, I'm gonna learn this golf thing. Yeah, I'm gonna try and hit this ball with my legs and hips, not my hands and arms. Yeah, you would never think like that. There's an object there and human nature is telling you to hit that object. It's telling you to hit it hard too. Harder I hit it, farther it goes. That's true, but there's a better way to do it. We're not hitting anything. So the little kid, on the other hand, has no choice. It's not that they don't want to hit with their arms. They couldn't because the club is too heavy. If the club is too heavy, you've got to find a different power source. And that power source is the legs and hips. So let me show you one of my students. So this girl, at this moment in time, I'll show you this video. She'd been playing a year and a half. She's a seven handicap in a year and a half. She flies the ball 240. I lasered it at 240. Hit her seven iron 160. Yeah, she's 14. So this will be someone to watch into the future because I think she's going to be absolutely incredible. But literally by watching my videos and reading my book, she became a seven in a year and a half. Okay. Now watch what she's doing and I'll show you exactly what I just said. Okay, so you see what she's doing there. So once she hit the top, she fully hinged the club. Perfect lag coming down, like monster lag coming down. You can see the lower body moving. Hips, exactly like I said Tiger Woods did it. He, she looks exactly like that. Okay, full extension, no chicken wing, going through. So how did she learn that in a year and a half after literally just reading my book and watching my videos? She'd never had a golf lesson until she came here. So that's what I'm getting at. Kids do this stuff because they don't have any arm strength. So right away from the very first ball they ever hit, they started doing it with their legs and hips. They're not just sitting here whacking away at it because they can't, they don't have the strength. So that's what we want to learn from kids. I keep saying this over and over again. You are not hitting the ball with your arms. That's why I teach powerless arms. Okay, so to get your game to a whole new level, start thinking about not hitting the ball with your arms like the little kid. Maybe you think to yourself, you know what? That, <laughs> yeah, this guy's right. You know, these little kids, they hit it a long way. With no, you know, and they're just little. They got no strength. It's like, yes, yeah, so if they got no strength, they can't be hitting with the arms. 
So if you're hitting with the arms, I need you to loosen up and weaken your arms. Don't hit anything, okay? We're not hitting. We're getting the power through firing our legs and hips. So we're standing here like this. Like I would, you know, do your setup, grip and setup. Now just shake your arms out. I did this tip not too long ago. The one bucket challenge. Hit one bucket of balls with your driver as loose or looser than you ever have in your life. And I guarantee by the time that bucket's done, you will hit some of the longest drives of your life. But you gotta do it for like a bucket. Problem is people go to loosen up, they quit after like three balls. And that's not enough, you know? Cause it's a new feeling, it's different, it's weird. You know, you gotta get used to it. So if you do that, you know, so what I would do is do my little one bucket challenge, okay? But this time we're gonna think like a little kid, okay? So you're gonna step up to it. You're gonna be totally relaxed with your arms. Think, okay? Little kid has no strength in their arms. So once you work it back to the top, like right here, don't worry about keeping your arms straight and all that stuff. I want you to have like totally loose arms, okay? So if you get it to the top like this, let it hinge right here. Okay, if even in the beginning, if you can go like this and get the weight, you know, moving to the back leg immediately, that would be good. So we're loaded by the time we hit the top and we're getting ready to transfer. So right here and we hinge. Now right there, just think you have no arm strength. So if you don't have any arm strength, you got to switch to legs and hips. Okay start doing that make the move with the legs and hips i'm telling you this is how we're doing it as pros okay but we learned as kids <laughs> right didn't we <laughs> every pro i know started as a little kid and we became pros <laughs> right so it's a different way well hit the top maybe do some practice swings first go like this go okay i'm gonna try this my arms are like super super loose i got no strength in my arms don't care about all this stuff okay you're just Make it a move here just to get the concept. You're not trying to do perfect just yet. So totally relaxed arms and go like this. You know, just like make the move to the back foot right away and let the thing hinge by the time you hit the top. Total relax, totally relaxed. And then from here, you can't pull the club down, okay? Because you're a little kid, you got no strength. Right there, just start turning your hips. Just let the club go wherever it wants to go. So it's gonna feel crazy it's gonna feel out of control it's gonna feel weird okay that's because the club's pulling your arms out now because remember you're a kid you got no strength so you're gonna go like this and just let it whip okay have the image of the kid in your mind see the you know the body as the power source but like I say you're not good at it yet so you sit there try it you know get that concept Okay, looser, looser, loosen it up. And I'm telling you, if you do that for one bucket of balls, <laughs> you will start killing it because you're not hitting it solely with brute force, physical strength. You're creating a technique that is powered by your legs and hips, creating this club head speed because you know, you're not locking everything up. Everything's super loose, which creates like a whip or like a weight on a string. Twirl that, you can get that weight really twirling just by twirling your hand. The weight would be your club. This would be the string. This would be you twirling it. That's the concept. That's what we're trying to do. So if you're out there trying to hit that golf ball with your arms, you're moving the weight on the string without twirling your hand. So you're gonna sit here forever. All right, so see the kid, understand it. If you have grandkids or kids, watch what they're doing. Give them your golf club. I'm telling you, they will pick that club up and have a hard time getting it back. They'll look like this at the top. And now if they go to hit it, they will use their body and the arms will follow. They will have perfect lag, no chicken wing. And you fast forward into the future, I'm telling you, they will be hitting the ball easy you know 250 to 300 yards and if he kept them playing a lot they'd become a great golfer so let's start to copy what kids are doing all right if you marvel at them then maybe they're doing something that you're not doing 
So let's start to see that, apply that, put that into our swing, and hopefully we can hit it as well as them. I truly hope you've enjoyed this tip. You know, I've been teaching a powerful, effortless, pain-free golf swing now since 1991. If you'd like to learn this type of swing, then head on over to bodyswing.com slash free samples, click the link up here or in the description below, and I'll send you some free samples of my body swing book and video series that take you step by step by step through how to build a powerful, effortless, pain-free golf swing. So once again, head on over to bodyswing.com slash free samples, click the link up here or in the description below, and I'll send you the free samples right away.